Hi, this is John Burkle, Director of Instruction at the Golf Lab Academy in Santa Ana, California. Today we're going to talk about the plane of the swing, especially the shaft plane. So here we're going to take a video of Matt Wallace from the European Tour. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line through the shaft of the golf club, exiting out through his body. So basically what we want to do in the shaft plane or taking the club away is we want the club to ride up this blue line or trace the blue line as best we can on the takeaway. So as Matt takes the club back, he's going to take it away and you'll see notice how the club stays beautifully on the blue stripe. Not only the club itself, but his hands and arms. You can see how we're just kind of striping the club beautifully right up the blue line. This is just a beautiful takeaway in the golf swing. From here, the club is going to start to hinge up. So basically, the club is going to start to lift off the blue line. So somebody would call this maybe a two-plane swing. So if somebody was swinging the hands in the club around that blue line, we call that a one-plane swing. But basically, for most of us, we, we're not that flexible. We can't get the left arm uh, going through our chest like that. So at this point in the swing, what we're trying to look for here is we're trying to get the shaft to set parallel to the blue line. It should be just above it and parallel to it. So this is called the set of the swing. So here he's in a beautiful position. And as he continues to turn, he's going to try to get the left arm at the very top of the back swing, the left arm and the club face parallel to that original lower blue line. So I'm going to add another blue line here through his left arm, and I'm going to add another line through the club face itself. So basically at the top of the back swing, we're trying to get the left arm parallel to the blue original blue line at the bottom with the club face itself also parallel to that line. Now, as Matt starts to unwind his body, we want to return the head of the golf club back to the original lower line. So as unwinds here, you'll notice the golf club, the head of the golf club is going to reattach back to the blue line. Now, we want to do that sooner than later. We don't want to make late corrections. We want to get the club head back on the blue line as soon as possible. Now you can notice Matt traces that blue line right back to the ball. This is going to allow for super consistent contact and direction. The club can release properly to the ball. Your hands can learn to square the club face as long as they're coming down from the same path lines or planes every single time. So Matt does a great job of striping that blue line to a beautiful impact position. Even as he continues to go through, you can see the shaft stays parallel to the line. Even as the club exits out through his left side, you can see the shaft is still parallel to the original blue line there. So that's just really, really pretty stuff. So whenever someone says he's got really pretty lines in his golf swing, that means that his hands, arms, club are swinging parallel to that original shaft plane. So if we watch him again, we pick up the pace a little bit here. You can see the club stripes the blue line, hinges almost beautifully parallel to it. At the top, his left arm is in a beautiful left arm position there where his left arm is parallel. Drops the club back down and in, reattaches to the original blue plane line, swings beautifully parallel through right on that plane line, and parallel to that original all the way through, even to the exit. You can see how wonderful that is. So what this does for you is it helps you hit straighter shots, give you more consistent delivery to the club if you can swing on plane. So it's really key to learn how to swing that club on that plane and on that shaft plane.